Hey guys, it's Ned from Winshead Farms. I'm gonna show you how to make a really cool dish today. Now, I'm gonna make breakfast for dinner, or quite honestly, breakfast for lunch, brunch, however you wanna spin it. I'm gonna make applesauce with the addition of Winset Farms Concerto Tomatoes. Now, as we all know, these are actually fruits, so they already have tons of sweetness in them. They got a great texture, really nice crunch, and for this recipe, we're just gonna combine four ingredients. Apples, Concerto Tomatoes, honey, and for a little bit of acidity, some lemon zest. Now, you could use any type of apple. You could use pears if you wanted. Concerto tomatoes are perfect because they're small. They don't have, they have a really tender skin. So the skin will break down nicely after cooking, but also add a really neat little texture to this applesauce. I'm serving it with waffles today, of course. Homemade pancakes would be spectacular. This applesauce could replace any applesauce that you use, whether it's grilled pork chops or it would even go great on grilled chicken. But the trick is use a little bit of sweetness, some sort of fruit with the addition of the concerto tomatoes. I mean, honestly, these are just little gems Kids love concerto tomatoes, and this is a great way to incorporate them into savory and sweet dishes. So we'll dice up the apples. We want the apple basically the same size as the concerto tomatoes so that they cook at the same time. And all we do, fire in first, is our concerto tomatoes, whole, just like that. You could cut them in half if you want. Equal amounts, tomato and apple and then a cup of honey, just like so. You could use sugar. Maple syrup would work really well also. Then we're gonna take our lemon and we're gonna zest it. In this case, we, we want the whole peels in here. We wanna keep the lemon zest whole because we wanna be able to take it out of the sauce when it's done. Cover it 20 minutes till the liquid is gone and you're ready to go. It's that simple, super easy. The tomatoes are gonna start to break down. The sweetness of the honey and the apples and the tomatoes together, I'm telling you, it's incredible. So after about 20 minutes of cooking, you can see the tomatoes are starting to break down, the apples are starting to break down, and the smell is incredible. And you can see, look at the lemon zest right there, really easy to take out. And the great thing is that the tomatoes start to break down, the sweetness, the natural sweetness starts to come out, the chunkiness of the apple and the tomato together are incredible. Although you could, if you wanted, throw this in a food processor or a blender and puree it up. You could even strain it if you wanted to have it really nice and smooth. But I love it chunky. So what I do from here, put it in a bowl, put it in a jar, fire it in the fridge, let it chill down, and then you're left with that, look at that, just, it looks spectacular. I know it's gonna taste good, really natural flavors, just the honey, just the lemon. Lemon is like, the acidity in the lemon is just picks the flavor up, you know, it sort of lifts it. So it's a great addition to this, to this sauce, to this fruit relish or compote, whatever you wanna call it. I've got some spectacular waffles here, just a nice dollop right on there. Of course, if you wanted, you could take the warm one as well and put that right on top. I like the texture of a little bit chilled. Last but not least, a little bit of drizzled honey on top. As I mentioned before, maple syrup would be great on this. And you know, this is fantastic over waffles, pancakes. It would even be great over baked tofu. I'm telling you, give it a shot. Our concerto tomato and applesauce. You're gonna love it.